Hi everybody. How are you? Happy Monday. So excited to jump on here and have this conversation with you. So let me know if you are joining me live. Say hello. I can say hello back to you. Of course, if you're catching the replay, use hashtag replay crew. And then I know that you've caught the caught the replay and I can circle back and we can continue this, this conversation around client attraction, marketing trends, what is going to be really important for 2023 so that you can make the impact that you desire to to make in the world i've been having a lot of conversations with colleagues been listening to round tables listening to and having conversations around everybody's experience in business this year what's been changing in the marketplace i know that the marketplace looks very different to how it looked when i first stepped into the on online world just think it's nearly seven years ago now and what works for, for businesses at different stages of their growth. And certainly, you know me, I talk about alignment all the time. What works for one person may not necessarily, you know, work for someone else. And it's certainly not going to work if it's feeling really out of alignment. Does that resonate? I'd love to know, you know, if there's been moments this year where you've tried something and it's just felt really out of alignment and you're like, Do you know what, I'm shelving that, it's not working. I'm going to focus on bringing myself back into alignment and what feels true for me and being able to show up and serve in my business in that way, in, a, in a, an aligned way. It is that time of year, isn't it, where we're reviewing what's gone well, what things might have been sticky, Who's had sticky, sticky bits in their business this year? Let me know in the comments. Um, I have had sticky bits in my business too this year as well. And of course, worked through them with my coach. We restructured our team this year. So we've got the right people on board with the right skills so that we can grow with more ease. We've been redesigning our program. So our clients in IPC have more access to me. Created, whilst we've been up to creating Voxer coaching programs, uh, packages, which flew off the shelf. I didn't even get to, to market those. Um, just uh, was chatting with previous clients and offered them to them in the first instance. And um, that was fantastic. And uh, I've been really enjoying doing those. So I'll be doing uh, marketing those coming coming soon. So stay tuned um, for, for those. And we've been doing so much behind the scenes so that we're ready for that next growth and that next expansion and reviewing how we can serve our clients even better in 2023. And of course, because I've got my business coaching programs as well, I'm looking ahead to see, okay, what do my clients need to be aware of? What's going on in the marketplace so that I can help support them and guide them with things that are changing, changing around them. So I thought I'd share some of my takeaways from the conversations that I've been having and what colleagues have been saying and sharing and what is true, and I see this every year, is there's a lot of noise out there in the media, a lot of scaremongering. Um, there's always scare, some form of scaremongering going on, and it can be easy to kind of get hooked into it. But the reality is, um, and this is from colleagues who have done the market research, is that spending has actually increased post COVID because people were saving money during the COVID period and they've now got more money to spend and people are also geared to working at home and living at home more and being online more and so the opportunity for growing your business online has grown tenfold and is going to continue to which is fantastic news for everybody who loves marketing online and offline as well. I think it's really good to be able to recognize where you want to be growing your business and then being able to double down and focus on that and if you love growing your business offline to to do more of that because there are people out there that are craving that that balance as well so this is all great news and i'd love to know what are what are you seeing out there and in your business in terms of marketing trends client attraction trends let's have a have a conversation about this for me, I think it comes down to timeless business principles 
that will serve you in growing a profitable and sustainable business so that you can have that consistent money coming in, that you can figure out when things get sticky, be able to grow your business to make a bigger impact. And it comes down to four R's, <laughs> four client attraction. And um, these are principles that I've been teaching in my business coaching programs for years now. I've been in, as I mentioned, in the online space for up to seven years, and I'm seeing more and more coaches talking about these, these principles as well, describing them in various different ways. Um, but the key aspect of them is the essence of them is the, the key part and solid advice where I see others talking about this is being relevant so these are the, the, the four R's, being relevant so that you're speaking to your ideal client and sharing information that they need, not what you need. Being relatable. So just being human. This is really key um, in terms of relationships. That's the third R. But being relatable. But So being able to share beyond quotes. To share who you are. This might be like lifestyle posts, family stuff, when things go wrong and all the things that so you can be relatable. People get a sense of who you are. Video is a great way for people to feel your relatability as well. Video is huge and it's people talk about video all the time. And actually thinking about it, it you know, this year, one of the biggest um, shifts, I'd say, is people recognising how quickly you can um extend your reach through through videos and 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 uh, reels and so those are our four r's so re relevancy relatability relationships and reach so relationships of course i mean that is if you haven't got a business if you haven't got relationships we need to get to know who's in our world who's um this may be you know the online space community members whether they've just been joining you know the free stuff or whether they've paid you know your highest highest program being able to have real relationships as as best you can and this is why I love having conversations with people on the Facebook lives because we get an opportunity to have a chat in the comments and and in messenger getting to know each other seeing how I can help and being able to build build that relationship and reach this is where this is simply you know how many people are actually seeing your stuff and how many new people are becoming more aware of your stuff so this could be through extending your reach through being on other people's platforms and people sharing um, and referring people to you as well. Referrals is key. That's another another one. Ah, oh, I've got five hours referrals. <laughs> um, so these are the ones that um, are timeless principles that will stand you when you're applying them to your business will stand you in good stead no matter what algorithm is doing doing what what noise there is going on in the in the uh, online space or what the media would have you believe and to remember as an entre entrepreneur you create your own economy so let's do that for 2023 and for everybody to be able to continue with their business growth to continue leading to continue being able to make a bigger impact and reach all the people that desire to work with you they might even not know that you exist yet but they that um, when they do become aware of you they're like yes they're my person I need to work with them so I thought I'd share some key things that have really um, become something that I've been talking about with my clients um, about more recently that I thought I would share with you because these are key things to remember in terms of principles um, that will inform trends moving forward in 2023. So the first thing I wanted to share was around attention. Your greatest currency is attention. This is something I've been talking about um, a lot with, um, with my coach and then with my clients as well. So thinking about where are you placing, where are you placing your attention? Because the, the cost of a, attention is, is increasing every, every day. And actually the amount of attention that the average human being has is decreasing if we think about it we you can you think of your behavior on social media where you can be watching these like shorts you've got youtube shorts you've got reels you've got all these things that just capture your attention for for a few seconds the thing is with that 
is what is this doing and how are we training our brains with this? It actually create it makes it more difficult to create that awareness when people are feeling scattered in their attention. So effective marketing is going to be about capturing your community's attention and being able to hold their attention and to be able to do that because energy follows a, attention and your attention becomes your intention it's always a bit of a mouthful when I say that um, this is going to be really key to be really mindful of that in in 2023 so I invite you to bring that to to your attention and to then double down in 2023 on your relationship building and to be able to do this in a collaborative way, whether that's through summits, podcasts, networking and masterminds that you're in, however you are meeting other people and being able to share each other with, the, with each other's worlds so that more people can come into your world and they can benefit from your events, you know, whatever it is that you're offering so that ultimately you can grow your audience. And by growing your audience, I mean by creating your own community, so not in Facebook, but being able to bring people into your world on, on email, or you know, might be using phone numbers. So this is so that you're not dependent on the, on social media platforms. So we want to be able to be in that space where we're connected with people and we know either we've got their email and or phone number, pixel, address some people like to connect uh, collect addresses as well so that you're able to really know who this person is you know some people may be I mean I certainly will send clients um, cards when they join us in one of our programs and that's why we collect their addresses um, so those are the key things in terms of thinking about so what do I need to know about my community members and or clients because obviously it's gonna the information may change as you the the relationship develops and people step into your world as a, a client but the more information that you have the more you're going to be able to reach reach your community members and if all the platforms go down you're all good your business is still up and running because you've got their email address you've got their telephone you're able to stay connected with them and just to build on that i think the other thing is to bear in mind is as a tension is becoming more expensive this is where just to highlight this having the organic strategies and collaborations is absolutely key and of course depending on where you're at in business this is where knowing the the right time to start sharing and retargeting across different platforms because if you do it too soon and I know we have some um, people uh, in our community that are, are earlier on in their journey if you do it too soon you're going to stretch yourself too thin if you do it too late and in the wrong way then you're going to be leaving money on the table so knowing um the right organic strategies and the right point to be collaborating is is absolutely key um, and one of the things i talk about all the time um, with my clients as well is to remember and these principles will um transcend to, to next year that i mean they'll, they'll keep going you know for four years moving forward is that people are always in, you can think of this as one of three places when it comes to being truly ready to solve their problem and to go all in and to work with you. I've heard it described in a number of different ways. I like to think of it as swimming lanes because um, it's something that whenever I go swimming, I'm always thinking about this. So they're either in the slow lane and they're just poodling along and they're just realizing they're feeling a little bit discomfort and there's a little bit of a desire coming in for wanting to change things, but they're not really ready to speed up. They're quite happy going up and down that slow lane, not getting their hair wet, <laughs> keeping their head above the water as they're doing their, doing their breaststroke. And then they move into, then there's the middle lane. And this is where people are opening up to finding a way, finding a way and uh, really starting to explore what the potential options would be and that voice, that inner voice is really urging them to start to move and to take action. And that's when they move into the fast lane and now pelting it with their uh, front crawl. And they are ready to find the solution. And to, I like to think of it as living life beyond the vision, beyond the, the initial dream that you had, because there's another dream waiting for you on the other side. And it's the ones in the fast lane that are the people that will reach out to you to ask to work with you. And we just need to be able to nurture people wherever they're at on their journey to speak to everyone in our community you know the people in the slow lane just just may be in that space where they're just wanting content just wanting to kind of noodle on things and, and think things through and then the people in the fast lane they're ready to go all in 
And that's where we want to be in the space of continuously inviting people to, to work with you. Of course, as capacity allows, and that's where you can start to create wait lists if you, know, you haven't got the capacity. But being able to really recognize that and to be mindful of that as you're creating your marketing strategy for, for 2023 is always a, a, a good one to, to bear in mind. And the other thing that I've been talking about, a lot about with my, my clients in IPC is around creating polarity. And this links in with you know becoming more relevant to your ideal client so that your ideal client has no doubt that you are, you are speaking to them. And it's one of these things that, and let me know if this resonates, that it's just a great reminder for everybody wherever you're at in business. Uh, you know, this is about being being relevant, speaking to your ideal client where they're at, not where you're at, but where they're at, so that they recognise that you are relevant to them and that you understand where they're at and that you can help them. And you know, doing this through how you're speaking to them, your positioning, knowing your client really well, so understanding how they might say things. And being able to include all of this in your messaging and then of course ultimately having the right offer for them it's that right offer at the right time for that person that's going to enable them to go yes okay i'm ready this is for me let's go 2023 is my year um i'm going to make a bigger impact or whatever however it is that you're helping them um and then they know that they can can, can step in with you because you created that polarity you've drawn your ideal client to you and then some of those people that are perhaps not ready to work with you or they're like actually do you know what that's just not resonating anymore and then they can go and find the person that is the right person for them to help them and then the other bit that we the other R is your reach and as you increase your reach you increase the attention that's coming your way and the more chances that you have for someone to to see you the more attention that you're gathering from your relevant audience and so being in that space depending on where you're at in business being able to to double down on how you're showing up so showing up showing up more show up more with your wisdom inviting people to work with you more and as you do this you will make more income and then that then you're able to increase your reach and to to make a bigger impact the evolution continues and for me, I think the most important R is relationships. Relationships is absolutely everything. And I mean real relationships, getting intimate with people, getting to know what's going on in their family, having, you know, real conversations. I, I love chatting with people in, in Messenger, um, particularly when, you know, we've had an event, um, finding out what's resonated for them in the, you know, in the event, how it's helping them, where they're at, all the things, you know, getting getting to know them. And uh, that's something that I teach my clients to, to do is really building real relationships in a way that's authentic to you, of course, as well. And as part of the relationship building, you know, being being relatable, being yourself. I just find that the more you that you are, the more aligned your marketing and sales becomes. Does that resonate? Is anyone implemented a strategy that felt really out of alignment and how did it go how how were your sales in relation to that how was your marketing in relation to that for me I know that I personally prefer inviting people to work with me you know with an invitation on a google doc than sending them to a sales page I find it more personable I love having chats with them in in messenger making sure it's a fit for them and if I know I can help them then I will invite them to work with me that works for me love to know what what works for you and whatever talking of things that work whatever works in marketing now doesn't necessarily mean it will when it is becomes really generic and when it's widely adopted which is where I think this is fantastic because as entrepreneurs we get to be innovative we get to continuously improve what we're doing we get to we get to be creative and as part of that our superpower is the relationships and creating a client's experience within your business and having a business model that can take your clients on a journey so that they can grow with you. And I was reflecting on this and thinking, I am so blessed to work with my clients for years. And some of them have been with me for six years. And, you know, that's because we've got a journey that our clients can come with us on. And we truly rise together. We truly do. And so that is 
um, you know, top tip to help you with wherever you're at in your um, business is to think about what is the journey that you're creating for your clients? How can they have that extended journey with you and grow with you? The other thing that I've noticed in talking about attention is that people tend to skim stuff. So being able to help them to pay attention and to uh, grab their attention, you know, very much like how, you know, and if you've been in business for a while, which most people have in our community, is that we know that email headlines and PSs, most people just <laughs> skim and read those. Um, and so we really want to be using those principles in our online marketing, helping people with, you know, headlines, subtitles. You can do timestamps or summaries of lives. I can go back after this and put in some some key points so people can kind of go hmm slow slow lane people may just read the the uh, the title and think do I want to read it Did, watch any more of that people in the middle lane will watch it people in the fast lane will will watch it and take action on that so that makes sense so help the slow laners realize that they need to move more quickly with the titles and you know providing them with headlines so that they can bring their attention into the thing that's really important they need to focus on so that they can live beyond the vision now why wait <laughs> and for me the the key thing within all of this is being in alignment with what you're creating and if you're in an alignment when you're creating something that frequency is going to be picked up by the people who are watching the people who are reading whoever's receiving however the content has been created however they're, they're receiving that the, the frequency that you're in is absolutely key Alrighty, so I can't wait to see your comments and your reflections into relation to this and to continue the conversation. If you are ready to go deeper, then this is what we are we're up to. Uh, we've got our coaching and mentoring programs. We've got the Wealth Portal, which is for all entrepreneurs and CEOs, where you'll be breaking through in 60 days or less the income ceiling. So just imagine where your 2023 could kick off. In the Wealth Portal, we've got nine modules of training content showing you the exact steps, you know, how to release the cluster of hidden blocks and resistances, releasing the trauma, releasing what's not serving you anymore. What we do is we also gather together three times a month for live calls. So you're fully supported with time to have all your questions answered and to, you know, receive laser coaching and all the niggles that are coming up and anywhere there may be some stickiness that's being asked for, for healing. We do manifesting together. We do classic record activations together. I absolutely love it. And I have got a special invitation for you so you can benefit from our 2022 savings and some juicy bonuses if you step in before the end of December. So just reach out to me. Let me know that you'd like the details. We'll have, I will explore that it's a fit for you. Pop the invitation over to you. It's in a Google Doc, so you get the opportunity to read through the details. And then I just invite you to circle back and let me know within 48 hours if you're in or out. And if you're in, then a huge welcome. Your life is about to change and we will get you set up. Um, so that is the Wealth Portal. I'm so excited for everybody who is already in the Wealth Portal. We are going to create a magical 2023. And if you are a coach and you are ready to create six figures in your business, grow to multi six figures or have the next six figures, and you want my guidance and support to show you how to do it in alignment with your energetic blueprint, then the IPC is for you. This is our eight month spiritual business mastermind this includes leadership and energetics coaching copy support business strategy this is what you need for accelerated growth and we've got you covered for whether you're you know wanting to launch your podcast creating your next five-day masterclass so you can actually get it converting your webinars and so if you need the how-tos we've got you covered there if you just want the strategy again we've got you covered so we've got it all for you here and if you've been in business for a while and you're making sales and you've got your programs in place, but you haven't yet hit six figures or multi six figures yet, then do come and join us in IPC because this is your fastest, fastest path. Um, and so this is perfect for you if you know that you want to grow to six figures and beyond and you're ready to invest in yourself to be surrounded by other people that are on the journey with you. Um, this is a small group because it is high touch because I do you have un unlimited copy reviews by by me. So um, you have my eyeballs and my frequency on on your business. Um, and so the spots are are limited. So I'd encourage you to to reach out before the end of December um, because I will cap cap the um, the number of spots that we've got coming in so that I can make sure I continue to serve at the at the highest level. Um, 
and you know depending on where you're at in your business and we can have a chat about this in messenger so that um make sure that you get the results that you want to want to receive whilst you're um, with us during the time that we have together and i've got a couple of options if you want to have a catalyst for your business growth in 2023 um, then we've got a vip option where we can have a vip day in january so we collapse that time frame you've got direct access with me with weekly boxer coaching as well so i always invite you to lean in use that support so that i can support you as things arise in your business and then plus you'll have the community and the mastermind support of your colleagues in the in the program as well and uh, we have got incredible bonuses again for IPC when you step in before the end of December and you get the 2022 savings because we're going to be reviewing our prices for 2023. So just reach out to me via messenger or you can pop over an email to clientcare at louisahavers.com and we can explore if this is a fit for you and then if I know I can help you I'll pop over the details so you can have a read through and then just circle back within the 48 hours you can claim your savings and your bonuses let me know that you're in and we'll take it from there Alrighty, sending you so much love i will see you very soon take care bye bye